And the same is true in reverse. If you want the car to oversteer, you go for a stiffer axle at the rear, you're lifting the inside, you're overworking the outside, but it's giving the front an easy time. And that's the main thing that we're, we're playing with with roll bars. And as I said, the aero balance is also important. Well, if you add front wing angle, what you're doing is you're increasing both of these, uh, both of the load at, at the inside and the outside contact patch on the front. So you're just adding to that. It's going up further and that's just a net increase basically. There's no real loss to that other than if you go too far, you've got too much front grip, you've not got enough rear and you've got an oversteer car that's difficult to drive. Regarding the more fine tuning aspects of car setup, how differently do we tune the cars for both of our drivers? We tend to start with the same setup or something very similar. Um, we then let them explore the car with their engineers. Each driver will have different feedback. We're trying to feed information in, uh, advising on what's happening with the tires or the aerodynamics. But fundamentally, this is the job of the race engineer uh, the performance engineer and the driver and it's actually beneficial when they start exploring in different directions because each setup change is effectively an experiment you're then looking at how the car's performing both in the data and also on the stopwatch just how fast is the driver going